So it seems that tomorrow, as of this recording, the Hasbro Twitter account and Facebook account are going to be running a voting for the next figure for the Transformers War for Cybertron line for 2020. The choice of figures here are interesting because if one of them wasn't included, I would assume that this is something that's going to be aimed more towards the Scout class. And also the listing of figures here are also ones that really have been done in the past in different shapes and forms, but I'll give my opinion on that. Now, just before we jump into that, uh, the fan vote in the past has always been more directed towards the Transformers Generation 1 line that they've been doing with Walmart, but it seems now that Hasbro has kind of flipped this around, and it's uh, it's going to be happening now for the Transformers War for Cybertron. It's funny that they don't mention Siege here. Maybe this could be directed at whatever the next uh, subline and what the next title of the next War for Cybertron series will be. It won't be War for Cybertron Siege. It'll be War for Cybertron whatever it will be. Now, they mention here that the voting will begin tomorrow, June 13th at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, and you'll have 48 hours to vote, so be sure to check out their Facebook page. I'll probably put the link uh, in the description below of the segment so you can find it easier. And uh, you only get one vote per uh, per person and uh, limited to one name per character, I guess. I don't know. That's what they say here. So here are the choices, and then I'll give kind of like my little... Uh, opinion on each one of these so you have a choice of gnaw the shark decon uh what looks like either roundabout or run amok needle nose the target master or the insecticon shrapnel now let's break this down so like let's look at gnaw right so we're talking the shark decon here um gnaw actually had a pretty decent toy recently in that smaller kind of legend slash well, I wouldn't say Legends, but Scout Scale um, in the Titans Return line. So, you know, like, it, it, he's one of them that it's an army builder character. It's He's never been a character that's been very large or huge. I mean, his original Generation 1 toy was kind of oversized, in my opinion, where the, the Legend Scale one really worked very well. And, I mean, it's something that people are going to want to army build, so that Scout Scale works well. Is it needed in this case? Mm, I don't know. Uh, runabout and run amok, depending on which one they're going to do, which will probably be both probably at one point or another. Um, the only time we got really a good uh, modern interpretation of that character has been the club exclusive. Uh, he was in the Transformers Collector Club as uh, as one of the free figures was run amok, and then you could get roundabout in a box set, and then you could put them together. Um, very expensive to get for people that weren't part of the Collector Club. I believe that was in 2012. And... There really wasn't anything else outside of that. And that was a deluxe scale kind of figure. Uh, they used the wheel jack mold from Generations to do it. And it worked for it. It worked for what it was then. Uh, would this work as, let's say, a scout class? Or would you want this more as a deluxe class? They've always been kind of smaller characters. So maybe scout classes would work better for them. At least fictionally. Uh, would I want them? I don't know. Let's let's keep going here. So next is Needle Nose. Again, it's a, one of those characters that... Really, his only modern toy that he ever got was something from the Collector Club. In th this case, it was the uh, figure subscription service in uh, the 4.0 in 2016. I actually wrote his bio for the Collector Club. And the thing that kind of makes me wonder is, number one, this is one of them that if they did it in a scout class, it would look kind of weird because... While so far we've had this, you know, we've had the gimmick with the battle chargers and everything like that. And now we have, um, we have like all these target masters that are in siege. Will the siege target masters look too large in the hands of a scout class kind of figure? Uh, that's assuming again, everything's going to be scout class. Will they, will they actually go out of their way to make the target masters? Uh, those target masters for needle nose being zigzag and sunbeam. Or they just kind of, kind of like, oh, okay, you know, he's, you know, he is what he is. Because I know that when we did uh, the 4.0 subscription service, Combiner Wars, whatever you want to call it, Needle Nose for the club, uh, we included the Target Masters, and we made sure that the Target Masters looked like their original interpretations, even if we didn't have the uh, the trademarks at the time. So this is something that that one's kind of interesting, but I, it would be really more interesting if the price point was larger. And if the target masters are a thing, because they even show in the little, like, you know, this little silhouette here that he's holding, you know, something that could be a target master. 
And then the last one is an Insecticon. Now, same thing here with, with Shrapnel. We got a Shrapnel in, you know, the previous generation stuff. Again, in that kind of smaller scout scale, do we need that again today? I don't know. So the question is, if we go back, what if these are all deluxes? What would work then? A lot of those, I don't know, outside of, let's say, Needle Nose and Roundabout and Runamuck, the others don't fit as deluxes. They'd be kind of large, if anything, and out of out of scale. Because then, and not to mention, like if you do a, a deluxe shrapnel, you know what you're gonna want afterwards. You know, you're gonna want your other two Insecticons, but in a deluxe scale, I don't know. I don't know. It's it, me personally. It's kind of a tough one. I mean, I have all of these characters in pretty good representations already on my generation shelf. I think like if, if I ignore like like let's let's go like okay what well, was really tough to get those subscription service or the club stuff, then I'll lean more towards for the other fans to get you know vote number B in, in roundabout and run amok or vote number C in needle nose, but I really don't see them including the target masters unless it's a deluxe scale, or if they did include it look really out of size or look the scale would be weird. So I I, I lean more my vote towards uh, Roundabout and Run Amok only because, number one, I feel that it would be the easier job to do. I think it would be a good update because a lot of people weren't able to get those toys through the club and the club doesn't exist anymore. And there was only a finite amount of those figures. One was a free subscription service one. One was through uh, the club itself. And, you know, it was a little expensive. And those were good toys. They were good representations of those characters. But I think that maybe something that's a little more mainstream uh, would be beneficial for the fans. Number two, this gives Hasbro an excuse to then do a repaint. Whoever they do first could then obviously be the repaint afterwards. So they, they kind of get two characters out of taking the time to engineer this mold and everything. Where the other ones, I mean, who do you repaint out of shrapnel? You're not going to do like one of the Diclon repaints of uh, of uh, of the, the Insecticons and stuff like that. With Needle Nose, you're going to have to do retooling to do some kind of other like jet character. And in the case of Nah, well, I mean, really, what is there? You know, what is there? Uh, but yeah, you know, like, so to me, I think that uh, Roundabout and Runamuck is the best bet, at least in my opinion. Although, again, at the end of the day, all of these characters really have gotten modern interpretations. It's more just that two of those were in retail and the other two were, were a little more difficult to get. Kind of in the same way that, you know, I could say like, oh, you know, I already got my my Thundercracker and my, my Skywarp from, you know, excuse me, my Thundercracker and my Conehead Deluxes from the 2007 Bacon box set. So I don't need these. But then, of course, you know, Hasbro will then release them later on through the Universe 2.0 line. So it's something that I look at more towards the fans that weren't able to use the club and weren't able to go to Bacon. And I think that um, the Roundabout and Runamuck choice would be best for them. But let us know what your vote would be. Yeah, 48 hours uh, tomorrow, so uh, be sure to choose wisely. And, um, I mean, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to probably go with those cars, the, the, the twins. They seem like the best bet.